So the UGR is a brand new SMG which just released as a DLC weapon in Season 3, i.e. Cold War Year 2 content and you can unlock it for free with a weapon challenge in multiplayer or zombies and today I'll show you how to complete this challenge to unlock it easily and quickly. If you're trying to unlock it in Warzone instead, then check out my separate guide for that, there'll be a card on screen and a link in the description. So I'm going to quickly explain the challenge, give the best class that I've been gamers for this and there's some quick tips to help you get the challenge done even faster so make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips. But if you do want to jump to a specific part of the video there will be timestamps in the description. And once you unlock this weapon you may want to level it up, make a solid class setup with the gun or unlock gold or diamonds or DM ultra camo on the weapon. If so I'll have camera guides for this, a guide on how to level up weapons fast and a best class setup so check those out again, cards on screen and a link in the description. So the challenge can be done like I say in either multiplayer or zombies of cold war. There's also a secret third method by playing modern warfare which is pretty quick as well so we'll talk about that towards the end of the video and like I say you can also do it in warzone if you want. In terms of just cold war multiplayer or zombies I would say the zombies method is probably faster so if you want to unlock it as quickly as possible definitely play zombies zombies I'll talk about that strategy next but first we're going to talk about multiplayer as I know a fair amount of people would rather be playing multiplayer for it so we're going to talk about that first and then we'll talk about zombies and then the secret third modern warfare strategy so in multiplayer the challenge says using an SMG kill an enemy revealed by your spy plane UAV or field mic in 15 different completed matches now obviously this needs to be 15 completed matches you can't leave the game early if you do the progress will seem to initially count and if you come off the game the progress will reset so you must stay in the match until it finishes unlike warzone where you can leave you want to check your kind of progress counts by checking the challenge progress bar in game so on the menu click on edit next to your class hover over the UGR which is normally at the bottom of the SMG list and check this before the match now you're on and then you can check it afterwards to see if it counted unfortunately it doesn't seem to track in the middle of a match because it wants you to complete the match first before it counts technically it's harder to know if you've done the challenge however there is a way to know if your kill counted and if you want to know what you need to do is basically when you kill an enemy while the spy plane or field mic or whatever is active it will say something like plus 25 kill detected enemy or something like that that. And if it says that, that means you've killed an enemy while your field mic or UAV is active. If it doesn't, then it didn't. So in terms of which modes and class setup and so on is best for multiplayer, I'd recommend playing face-off as it's probably best as it's less than five minutes. The matches, they're, so they're quite short. They're small maps, so there's a fair amount of enemies. It's normally 6v6, so it's easier to get kills and so on. But you cannot use kill streaks in face-off. That's the only thing. So basically, you can't be getting a kill while your spy plane's active because you can't use spy planes. You have to use only the field upgrade, like your field mic, basically. So if you can get one kill with the field mic active, this works well. If you're struggling and you can't do it with that, then you want to go into another mode. And generally, if face off is not around or you're struggling with face off then the other mode you could go for is something like nuketown 24 7 sometimes they've got like a jungle 24 7 or any kind of new map playlist as well go into any of those they're normally okay and try and go for modes with short game modes like kill confirmed and tdm not long ones like hardpoint and and domination and so on but yeah if you can try and do it face off the class setup i recommend any primary smg like the ots9 tech 9 lapper ppsh 41 any of those are good and then you want to put on the perk greed wild card and then in perk one you're going to want to put on flak jacket so you take less damage from enemy explosives and fire and then also tactical mask so you have max resistance to flashbang and stun grenade and you're immune to gas in perk 2 you're going to want to put on gearhead to reduce your field upgrade cooldown and you can also equip two field upgrades at the same time like two of them so basically it helps you to get kills while your field mic is active more easily as part of the challenge and also you can put on tracker to just see an imprint of enemy footsteps just to kind of see what enemies are on the map in perk 3 you can then put on ghost so you're undetectable by enemies by planes and also cold blooded so the ai controlled school streaks won't target you and then play it control score streaks won't highlight you in terms of the equipment ignore the lethal and then for the tactical you want to put on a stim shot and then obviously like we said for the field upgrade you want to put on the field mic as this highlights enemy sounds on your minimap to see what enemies are and obviously it's, it's one of the things that counts towards this challenge as well all you need to do is get one kill while the field mic's active but also put on the spy plane score streak just so that you can try and get kills while that's active too and like i say as soon as you see that plus 25 kill detected enemy or something to that effect you know that's counted and you only need one and then just stay in the match till it finishes and rinse and repeat my tips in game for this would be kind of be as aggressive as possible with the objective and kills to earn your field upgrade and kill streak. Push to the enemy spawns and try flanking around the edge of the map to get a few kills while your spine plane is active. And place the field mic in an obvious place but that's sort of near a high traffic area of the game. So for example behind the red truck on Nuketown or near an objective point or something like that. If you do that you'll get this challenge done fairly easily. It's not difficult it's just kind of the time you need to put in to kind of rinse and repeat and go through 15 games. But other than that it's really not too hard. 
and I hope you found that useful if you do it in multiplayer. Now if you're open to doing it on zombies it's actually a lot easier so that's what I recommend but I know not everyone finds it easy or likes playing it but if you do like I said I'd recommend zombies. So the challenge for zombies says you need to eliminate 1000 enemies while using an epic quality or better SMG. So there's three main methods to get this done in zombies. The first thing you can do is either just play to earn enough salvage in whatever match and then once you've earned enough upgrade your weapon to epic tier in a game and then get a thousand kills but unfortunately it takes ages to get salvage so to upgrade your weapon to epic tier and then get a thousand kills will take quite a while the other thing is which i don't think will apply to many people but if you've done the cold war super easter egg for zombies you actually spawn in immediately with an epic quality weapon so just choose one you should be able to choose an smg and it will be epic quality and then just you want to get a thousand kills in a match fairly simple but a lot of people won't have done that so the third main method and this is the one we're going to focus on in this video i think that will apply to most people so what you want to do is you want to purchase a wall by weapon of epic quality now there's only a few of these around i'm sure a lot of people won't have come across it or won't be aware of it so i'll explain now where to find it and how to get it but i would say this is the easiest method for those of you who haven't done the super easter egg and don't automatically spawn in with an epic quality weapon i'm going to focus mainly on that wall by weapon method but if you guys want to do the other two methods feel free to kind of adjust and alter my strategies and tips to kind of fit your method but yeah assuming you're wanting to play by that epic quality wall weapon and then get a thousand kills here's what you want so you can put on any smg it doesn't really matter in fact it doesn't even have to be an smg because we're actually not getting kills with that smg so just put on any weapon you want so if a melee weapon's easier go for that or whatever you guys want you also want to put on the ring of fire field upgrade as standing within it kind of boosts your damage and it's easier to get lots of kills on the higher round kill boss zombies that kind of thing so definitely put on that then for the map or mode i'm sure other maps will have epic quality war weapons but the only one i know of that definitely will work fairly simply is firebase c now i'm sure if you guys have played other maps there may be another smg that's easy to get that's epic quality off the wall most of them aren't most of them are lower quality than that so the only one like i say that works is firebase c that i know of so i'd highly recommend you play that map this is because there's an epic tier SMG in the starting area which you can purchase early on in the game and here's how you get it. So you want to spawn in and I recommend turning on the rampage inducer straight away. Basically you need to hold square or X on a canister in the upstairs building to the left of spawn and this automatically speeds up zombie movement to reduce the wasted time from like slow zombies coming towards you. The first route, few rounds are normally really slow. If you turn this on they'll go really really quick and it just wastes a little bit less of your time. You can turn the rampage inducer on or off once per match and it works up until about round 50 I think if you haven't used it by that point it will despawn and you can't use it but I recommend it because the zombies will come at you faster so you'll get the kills faster and get this challenge done faster but what I'd recommend is once you have a few thousand points from turning it on you can also get more money from like going prone by perk machines rebuilding barriers that kind of thing once you've got a few thousand points turn off the rampage inducer temporarily and then you want to head upstairs and teleport to firebase C this is because you want to turn on the power and it's a bit annoying otherwise you'll go through the round so fast and kind of waste a lot of zombie kills where Whereas if you turn it off, zombies are slower, you just need to get the minimum amount of kills to get the points to turn on the power, and then you come back and turn it on once you buy the war weapon. So yeah, you want to turn on the power by activating all of the generators on the map once you've teleported to Firebase C, and once you've got a bit of money, maybe about 7 to 10,000, teleport back to the spawn area and jump off the roof onto the balcony below, or otherwise you can go onto the ground floor, and then up the stairs to the right in that building, there'll be a room which was previously blocked off and it's now accessible due to the power being on. Somewhere in that room there'll be a chalkboard and on it will be a bullfrog epic quality purple tier weapon. So if you go up to it and buy it, head to the pack a punch machine and then upgrade it to pack a punch level one. You can also equip an ammo mod. That way you've bought the epic tier weapon already really early in the game and you've upgraded it so it does a bit more power. And because it's epic tier, it has a lot of damage. So, you, you know, kills are fairly easy, but pack a punching really just helps uh, a little bit more. So then you want to turn the rampage inducer back on and then keep getting more kills either in the start area or you can teleport back to firebase C. And I like training in that central hub area with a crashed helicopter. So I recommend you guys stay there and keep doing that. Zombies will now be running at you very fast fast because you've turned the rampage inducer on but it means you can get more kills more quickly and if you keep training in circles around this area you'll be fine just keep pack punching weapon buying perks using the salvage to upgrade your weapon to finally to the, the highest grade tier and you can also buy ammo equipment and so on for the defend waves you want to head to the necessary area pick up your free kill streak from the console and defend the area until it's all clear before returning to your training area and then also any bosses that come along so like the mimics will come
come along quite a lot. Just kind of shoot them in the head and don't look at them for too long because otherwise if you're shooting and looking at them they'll kind of bring you towards them and attack you whereas if you keep running away and shooting them from a distance they'll die fairly easily so that's one thing to do. Just be aware of any weird objects that spawn on the floor like a grenade or a helicopter because like a, as a little toy because that can be where a mimic's going to spawn so watch out for those. For the manglers you just want to shoot their hand cannon i.e. their right arm if you keep doing that it'll explode and they'll die very quickly. Before long you should have 1000 kills at which point you can quit the game to try out your new unlocked weapon or you can keep on playing if you want but yeah that's the fastest way to do it. It shouldn't take long at all maybe about half an hour slightly longer than that maybe 40 minutes with this method pretty quick compared to the other methods. Now there's one more final method which might even be slightly quicker or kind of on par with zombies at least and that's if you have Modern Warfare, basically Modern Warfare is bugged so any new weapon that comes to Warzone can also be unlocked in Modern Warfare this has worked for the last few weapons that have come out hopefully this still works but let me know if it doesn't the good thing about Modern Warfare is you can leave the match after you get the challenge progress rather than having to wait to finish the match so just basically spawning, get one kill while your UAV is active in a playlist like Shipman or Shoot House, then leave the match and repeat that 14 more times to get 15 in total. And if you're not sure if it's counting, just hop over to the Warzone side of things and see if you've made any progress. It should do. And if so, just keep playing in Modern Warfare. That's probably just as quick, maybe slightly quicker depending on how quick you are. But for more consistency between the matches, Zombies is probably better in Cold War. You can do Cold War multiplayer as well, but that's a lot slower obviously because you've got to stay in all the matches. So like I say, I recommend just doing Zombies or Modern Warfare if you've got it. Anyway, hope these tips helped. If they did, be sure to leave a like on the video so that other people can find it too. And feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest Warzone, Vanguard and Cold War videos. You can check out my Cold War or Vanguard camo guides, guides for unlocking other new DLC weapons such as the Vargo 52 which came out recently to Cold War. So feel free to check it out if you need to unlock it in Warzone or Cold War. Also, I have a best class set up for the new UGR SMG. I've got a guide on how to level up weapons fast in Cold War, Vanguard and Warzone Season 3 and how to level up tiers fast and so much more on my channel. And don't forget to enter my Cold Points giveaway. There'll be details for that in the description, but thank you so much for watching, hope you find it useful, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.